نحمده ونسل على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ما دي يا برادرز أن سيستز إن إسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Before I start, I would like to wish you all a very blessed Ramadan Mubarak. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts every one of our fasting, sadaqah, taravi, Quran, and everything else. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all of this ibadah. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all forgiveness in this holy month. Ameen. So inshallah, this is the first episode of the 99 Name series which will run throughout the holy month of Ramadan. And inshallah, we will cover the entire 99 names of Allah before um, the release of the track of the entire recitation of Asma'ul Husna on Eid Day, inshallah ta'ala. So, within this series, um, we will cover the entire 99 names of Allah with a brief commentary on each of the names, each of the videos. Uh, so, there will be inshallah one video per name, which will be about two minutes long which will cover the meaning of each of the names, a commentary of each of the names, and for most of the names, inshallah, we will um, we will present a wazifa or um, the benefits of reciting this name uh, X amount of times after a certain um, namaz, for example. So inshallah, we will cover all of this for each of the names, inshallah. And for for the entire series to end before the end of Ramadan, we will be releasing four of these two minute videos a day inshallah ta'ala inshallah we plan that the entire series is to finish before the end of ramadan like i said and the series will end with the release of the entire recitation of asma'ul husna which will be released on eid day inshallah i request you all to remember us in your duas and i pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all the efforts of everyone behind the scenes ameen so a bit of background behind the 99 names of Allah before the first episode of the actual name is released I would like to go through a bit of the background and explain to you why it is important to have have this uh, series in the first place why we should learn the 99 names of Allah why we should know the meanings and we should try and it all helps us appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the first question is, why are there 99 names of Allah and not 100? So, it is important to note that although many people know the names of Allah to be 99, there are actually many, many more, countless in fact. But the Quran teaches that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names, each of which relate to a particular attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by separating these qualities into 99 distinct attributes, it makes it easier for us to try and comprehend his might and his greatness. So, he has the 99 asma, i.e. the 99 names, also known as asma'ul husna. But that does not mean that he is restricted to these 99 names. There are many, many more names like I've mentioned. He does not say that he only, it does not say that he only has 99 names. It says there are 99 names, but there are many, many more as well. So, first of all, why should you remember or memorize these? A hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam states that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names, one less than 100, and whoever memorizes them will enter paradise. Imam Bukhari, this is re re narrated by Imam Bukhari. Hadith number 2736. There are numerous hadiths narrated with different sanads which cover the same the same message that there are 99 names of Allah and whoever learns them, whoever memorizes them will enter paradise. These hadiths have been narrated through different sanads, i.e. different chain of narrators. But because they all narrate the same message in essence, it is a sahih hadith. So whoever learns the 99 names of Allah, inshaAllah ta'ala, through the will and mercy of Allah, we will enter Jannatul Firdaus, inshaAllah. Then, uh, inshaAllah, at the end of the series, if Allah wills, then we will release the entire Asma'ul Husna, like I said. And when we release this, I would request you all to memorize these so that we may all enter Jannah together, inshaAllah ta'ala. So, um, 
when we cover the 99 names within this series it is important to also note that these names which are attributed towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are unique in their own way by that I mean that there are many asma attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which a person could try and comprehend in a manner that can be likened to humane qualities and a person may try to make Ma'adullah a comparison between Allah and try to liken it to his creation for example Ar-Rahim which is one of the names of Allah uh, which means the most merciful now a person could say that for example I could be merciful towards you or another person or vice versa you could be merciful towards me so is that somehow linked to Allah's mercy and um, the answer is no our mercy is unlo- unlike Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy we cannot reach even an atom's worth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's status in this matter we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful in which way and to what magnitude Allah knows best so it is impossible to say that our mercy is likened to the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likewise with the name of Allah which attributes him as al-khaliq which means the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is undoubtedly the creator of not only all of mankind but everything else which is in existence and even things that do not exist yet Allah knows best but for example the creator of the latest technology for example the latest iPhone he would be called a creator however again this is incomparable to the way which an Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-khaliq hence likewise there are many many more names like this but we must understand before we go through these that these attributes are beyond our comp- comprehension in the matter we cannot be likened towards this the mercy and the rahmah of Allah it is unlikened to what we can comprehend the reason uh, they are there is for our limited comprehension to try and appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even more Now the first name which we will talk about in this series is the name by which even the littlest of children refer to their Lord Almighty by and that name is Allah He is the one who is worshipped and shown servitude He is the one who deserves to be worshipped by the whole of his creation due to his perfectly godly attributes that he is described with he is the one who is absolutely independent upon whom everything else depends he does not beget nor was he begotten and there is none comparable to him this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's personal name so this name Allah cannot be given to anyone else besides him it has been said that whoever prays Ya Allah 1000 times every day Insha'Allah Ta'ala, all doubts and weakness of Iman will be removed from his heart. So Insha'Allah, this was the first name that we have covered. Insha'Allah, we will be releasing four days, I mean four videos a day, uh, each two minutes. Insha'Allah, this was an introduction to the Asma'ul Husna, so this was slightly longer, but the other videos will only be two minutes each. And I request you all to share the video so that we may all uh, multiply this benefit of learning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all I have said today and forgives me for any mistakes that I've made. Wa ma'alayna illa al-balagh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.